The president last night delivered his State of the Nation address on the current state of affairs in the country to give solution to the current economic crisis in Uganda, which has seen citizens grapple with the high prices of commodities and fuel. In his speech, the president urged Ugandans to start looking at the option of adopting the use of traditional forms of energy, such as solar, wind and hydro energy, instead of relying on fuel. Center, this, this little money we have, instead of putting it here, where there is danger and people are running away, let us put it where we are, we are, we are going, two places. Number one, electric vehicles, electric buses, electric lorries, electric minibuses, they're even talking of electric border borders I hear. Following his address, the so-called Drebo MPs from the ruling party, the National Resistance Movement, the Adresa Chikubo of Remiaga County, and Barnabas Tinkasimide of Buyanga County constituency have today reacted to the president's speech. We were expecting some serious intervention, robust response, by government on the rising fuel. And indeed what happened yesterday is a matter that we find very challenging to Ugandans. The president knows where the problem is coming from, but for him because he's comfortable, he says it's okay. I am not ready to help Ugandans at any cost. According to the legislators, Uganda is not ready for electric vehicles because the required infrastructure is still absent. If even the developed countries like Germany, France, UK, United States and others have not been able to adapt the electric vehicles. And now you come, you tell the country that you Ugandans hold your fire, we have found hope. Less than 10% of the roads that we have in this country, I am meaning community roads, district roads, uh, and national roads. Less than 10% is tarmac. So, you are inviting Ugandans to buy electric cars and ride them on, on, on Marama roads. Other MPs who have reacted to the speech believe that the government is not trying hard enough to help the citizens who are facing tough times. According to the legislators, Uganda should pick a leaf from Kenya, which has set prices for particular food items. The interventions have been very clear. In Kenya, there has been a price control on hunger, maize. Uh, we have also seen countries coming up with subsidies on, on generally providing subsidies. I want to appeal to the executive that it is high time that we really focused on spending money where it matters. There are a lot of expenditures that we can actually do away with. On the other hand, the de facto rebel MPs have also accused the president of neglect to include people from Buganda in his cabinet following the recent appoint of DP President Nobat Mao to the position of Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs. And also to be opposition in NRM, it isn't easy. We know that Horobo Mao has made his humble contributions to the political development of this country. He stood strong against Betty Bigombe. But for you to say that you are going to change the system, that you are coming in with truth and justice, and you follow truth and justice, why, why doesn't he do other things? President Museveni looks to be very angry with Uganda. And anyone who is not, he has never talked vehemently about the coffee. When they rejected that thing of vinge, or the Italian, the Dira. He opted to every address to be talking about coffee. Coffee is what the Baganda can be proud of. The increasing prices of commodities have seen Ugandan cities in some of the countries like Jinja to take to the streets to protest with hopes of finding solutions. Sarana Kandi, Adams Mayambala, CTV for PM Edition.